Hey learners, welcome to Ahmed Coaching. This is your teacher Dr. Anam and today we are going to study what is diffusion. Let's take some daily life example. In first example, if you are standing at one corner of the room and your friend is spraying perfume at the another corner of the room, after some time you will be able to smell that perfume. How this is happening? Similarly, in a glass of water you have added a lump of sugar or a spoonful of sugar. What happened that at the base of that water you can taste sweet water but at the top the water is not sweet. But what happened that you stir it and after some times you can feel that the whole water is sweet. So what is the process behind both these examples? The process is diffusion. Let's talk about the definition of diffusion. Diffusion is the movement of molecules from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration. Here in this example, you can see that at this point, the sugar molecules, they are present at higher concentration. While at this point, the molecules are present at lower concentration. So what happened by the process of diffusion, these sugar molecules, they started to travel from higher concentration to the lower concentration like this. And after some times, an equilibrium is developed. Now this movement is called a long concentration gradient, means from higher concentration to the lower concentration. The molecules, they will move like this until the equilibrium is achieved. When we talk about equilibrium, it means that the molecules present at the base of this glass are the same which are present at the top of this glass. So the equilibrium is achieved by the process of diffusion. Process of diffusion is very important in biology because it is helpful in the movement of substances within the cell as well as across the cell membrane. For example, carbon dioxide, oxygen and glucose, they can cross cell membrane by the process of diffusion. Similarly, gaseous exchange in the gills and lungs also takes place by the process of diffusion. For example, when we breathe, the concentration of oxygen is higher in the air. So the oxygen will move from higher concentration to the lower concentration which is in the lungs. Similarly, movement of glucose molecules from small intestine to the blood capillaries is also taking place because of diffusion. Diffusion is a passive transport. Passive transport means that the process of diffusion does not require any kind of energy. Here you can see that because a cell does not expand energy, when molecules diffuse across its membrane, so this type of diffusion is called passive transport. In cells, along with diffusion, there is another type of diffusion taking place which is called as facilitated diffusion. As the word facilitated indicates that this kind of diffusion is facilitated means helped. Or this kind of diffusion is taking place because of the help. Now the helping molecule in this case are actually the transport proteins. What happened that many molecules they cannot diffuse across the cell membrane because of their size or maybe the charge on them. So what happened that the transport molecules which are present in the cell membrane they help in the movement of these molecules from higher concentration to the lower concentration. Here in this diagram you can see that this is a simple process of diffusion which is taking place through the cell membrane while in the facilitated diffusion these transport proteins they are helping in the movement of these molecules which are present in higher concentration at the outside through them they can easily move from higher concentration to the lower concentration which is inside the cell so this is facilitated diffusion because this diffusion is being helped or facilitated by the transport proteins so that was all about what is diffusion. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. I will see you in the next video.